Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to lesson two of object role modeling. In last lesson, we talked about what a database is, and all this material is from last lesson. So if it looks foreign to you, then you should probably do lesson one. But basically, it means that a computerized database is just uh, data stored on the computer that is accessed through a database management system. So um, now we're going to categorize computerized databases a bit more into two types of databases. So computerized databases can be categorized into flat file databases and relational databases. Now, it's sort of hard for us to um, explain how to, uh, what relational databases are and uh, without talking about flat file databases. Okay, but basically, um, object role modeling, actually, I'm just going to leave that a little bit later and I'm just going to talk about what a flat file, flat file database is and I'll talk about what's wrong with it and then I'll talk about how we could use ORM to turn a flat file database into a relational database uh, an optimized one so let's firstly talk about what flat file databases are they are basically a single table database with a number of uh, columns okay with a number of columns so a good example of that would be an Excel spreadsheet Right, an Excel spreadsheet would be an example of a flat file database. So I'm going to bring up an Excel spreadsheet, right, and I'm going to type some, save some information, uh, save some data into the spreadsheet. So let's say I'm creating a table to store uh, some data about um, students at my school. So what can I store? data about. Um, so I might have the student number. Right? Each each person probably has a student number, probably have a last name, probably have a first name. What else? So I've thought of a few other things you could uh, save some information uh, data about in the database. So let's say a student number could be the first student, let's just put 0001. Um, last name, let's just put uh, Simon's. First name, uh, let's put Camilla. Gender, female. Just going to fill a few more things in. So I've put in some sample data. And unfortunately, I've just made up data for one person because it's actually pretty hard to think of um, think of a lot of students. I might do a few more later if, if I have time. But you can imagine, let's say I have a thousand students, right? Everyone is on this table. So it seems all right, doesn't it? A flat file database, right? We can just we can just have one table. One table with a lot of students and just put everything in this single a single table okay so that's what a flat file database is now what could possibly go wrong with that now things will start to go wrong when you want to store information or data that is repeated okay so what that means is for example let's say Simon's Camilla Simon's we want to store some information about their parents. Okay, then I'll have to put, uh, let's say, father. 
father name. Okay, and then I'll put Daniel Simons. Or actually, I'll probably have father first name. Father first name. And I have Daniel father last name. And then I have Simons, right? And then let's say I want to have, let's just put father email. I put dsim at example.com. Right? And then let's say that Camilla has a brother. Right? Has a brother called John Simons. And obviously I gotta I, I'm gonna put all this other stuff in. But um, John Simons' father is gonna have the exact same thing. Daniel Simons and I'm gonna copy and paste this now notice how this exact same information is now stored twice okay not to mention their um, street address and all that they're all gonna be the same right the all this information everything okay actually I'm just gonna copy this as well because if they they're probably gonna live in the same house alright so yeah we get a lot of repeated information as the uh, as the data set gets bigger and bigger there's gonna be a lot of information repeated now let's say they move to um, let's say five five uh, so hard moon street okay then what happens? Well, I got to change the street address twice. Okay, I got to change the street address twice because the data is stored twice, right? Or um, if their phone number changes, then I got to change the phone number twice. Or if the dad's um, email address changes, then I got to change it twice. So that's another problem. So the two issues that we've just talked about weaknesses number one redundancy All right redundancy is where we have to store the same information in multiple places All right the dad's name we store this information twice address store the same information twice redundancy uh, and then when we have to update it we also make the database inefficient inefficient because we got to update the same thing twice now let's say let's say that for Daniel Simons I received a phone call from Daniel to say that um, their email address has changed their email address is changed to ds at example2.com right and I've only updated it for um, Camilla but I forgot to do it for John as well so then what happens we don't know which one's correct anymore okay we we've updated for Daniel uh, for for Camilla but we didn't do it for John so later on someone else is looking at it not knowing which is the correct contact information so that's called update anomaly update anomaly now let's do something even crazier and add more columns to this database okay let's add a few more columns and say we now want to store some information about what subjects Camilla is currently doing so then I have subject name okay and then let's say Camilla is doing um, English right then I'm gonna have teacher name I'm gonna have uh, teacher first name let's put Ed Eddie 
teacher last name Brown, Eddie Brown. And then what what happens if uh, if Camilla Camilla leaves the school? Okay, what happens if Camilla leaves the school and I want to get rid of her from my school? All right, so what does that mean? I'm do I delete this whole row? Because that's what you do if you want to delete something from a database. You have to delete a whole row, a whole record, which we call um, using database terms. Uh, each row is basically a record. So if we delete Camilla, right, all that information is gone, right? And what happens if I want to find out where Camilla lives, where Camilla used to live? or where Camilla's father lives, all that info is gone, right? So not very smart, not very smart to use a flat file database to store information for a whole school when you've got a lot of uh, data to store. So the last weakness is data loss. When you delete a record, you delete things that you don't want to delete. Okay, so well then, what is a better way? What is a better way? A better way is a relational database. So, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about a better type of database. And then, eventually, we'll get to ORM, finally, which is talking about how to turn a flat file database into a relational database. Basically, that's what ORM is for. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.